Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing another chemistry video, a part two of my last video about what to expect during your four years of college. I noticed that you guys really are liking my chemistry videos and you leave a lot of comments on them, so I decided to do more. So welcome. Here we are. Today's video, I'm gonna be talking about junior and senior year. If you haven't seen the part one of this two-part series, I guess you could call it. Be sure to check that video out. I'll link it in the description. Before I start, don't forget to like and subscribe and try to watch this video all the way through so that you can feel better prepared before you get into a chemistry major at college. If you guys also want to know just a little bit about my background and what my major is, what my minor is, everything like that, also be sure to check out that video. I'm not going to get into it, but I'm just going to link it down below. Okay, so junior year. Um, I felt like this year was a little bit easier than sophomore year, although it was still a little bit tough. I think that the classes were more tough, but I had a little bit more time in my schedule. So like I had more time to do gymnastics and clubs and hang out with friends and everything like that. But I still feel like the classes were pretty challenging compared to senior year and freshman year. Junior year, I took Physical Chemistry 1 and Physical Chemistry 2. I don't think all chemistry tracks need two semesters of PCHEM, but mine did. So I took not only Quantum Mechanics... Why can't I talk? I, also, I not only took Quantum Mechanics, where you learn about Molecular Orbital Theory and Quantum Chemistry, which is so cool, but in my other semester, I also learned about Thermodynamics and Kinetics, which personally, I didn't think was that interesting. It was a lot of math and just after you get it, you get it, but for some reason, it would take me so long to understand some things and how to set up the equations, and I, I just didn't really like this class. But Quantum Mechanics, I absolutely loved that class. It was so interesting. I feel like junior year, you start understanding why things work for the things that you learned freshman and sophomore year. So in general chemistry and even in organic chemistry, you learn just like the very basics. And even though it's difficult, you learn the very basics and sometimes you learn things and they don't explain it and they're like, this is just the way it is. But junior and senior year, you kind of start to learn why things work the way they do, what the theory is behind it, and sometimes you have to understand why you learn things the way you did, even though sometimes they're kind of wrong. Like sometimes you learn things and they just make it so simple so that you can get the concept, but then junior and senior year you find out, wow, it's actually not like this. I actually was living a lie my entire two years of college, but it's okay because now you understand. So if you're thinking about dropping out after the struggles of sophomore year, don't because your eyes will be opened junior year and senior year, I'm telling you. <laughs> I don't think I took that many general ed requirements. I took some biology classes that I needed to take and obviously chemistry. And it again had a lot of labs, but it wasn't too terrible. So junior year, I also took analytical chemistry and instrumental chemistry. I think I forgot to mention that. Analytical chemistry is very like algebra two heavy. So if you feel like you're weaker in algebra two, maybe try before taking that class, like brush up on just, I don't know, your basic algebra skills and just how to simplify, solve for X, kind of things like that because it's very focused on solving for a uh, unknown and i personally loved analytical chemistry like i thought that it was just so fun to try to figure it out and the only problem was that i have dyslexia so all those numbers kind of didn't really go well but i told my professor that he kind of understood so it was okay i thought that class was fun a lot of people tell me that it was the absolute bane of their existence during chemistry but i think again it is different with everyone. After analytical, I had to take instrumental. This was kind of an easy class for me. I think, I don't know, it probably depends on where you take it again. But basically, you're learning about how all the chemical instruments work. So it's pretty cool if you're into how things are put together and how you could make it better or anything like that. It's pretty interesting. Senior year, the freshest year in my memory because it just happened. <laughs> senior year in my opinion was one of the easier years I think that it was difficult classes like don't get me wrong I feel like 
some of them were difficult because I took molecular genetics and that was one of my harder classes but that wasn't really a chemistry class so I feel like senior year involved a lot of writing so basically everything that I learned the past three years and everything that I was learning and doing in the lab I had to learn how to convey on paper and so there was a lot of papers both collaborative and individual which prepare yourself for. I don't know if it's just my school, but I know that more schools are trying to push more collaborative uh, writing and projects and everything because obviously when you're working, you're not just going to be working alone the whole time on doing a proposal or anything else. So get used to that. I know that you're going to be doing that all throughout college. So if you aren't a team player, you might struggle a little bit if you're doing this major, but just be nice to people, do your part, don't leave it up to everyone else, and also don't be a micromanager and try to do everything and then submit the paper. That never goes well either. I'm speaking from experience, you can probably tell I'm jaded, but it's fine. So anyway, I took Advanced Lab 1 and 2, and then I also took a, or no, I took Advanced Lab first semester, and then I took Biochemical Methods, which was slightly altered because that was when the coronavirus shut down the school. So I didn't really get to experience that class as fully as I kind of had hoped, but that was specifically for biochemistry majors. And so if you're just chemistry, you might not have to take that class. I also took two biology classes, plant biology and molecular genetics. I found molecular genetics to be extremely difficult not really because of the information i thought it was super interesting and i was really excited for the class but for some reason my professor just had to be i don't even know how to describe it he just was not very helpful when the entire world was shutting down you know so anyway it still ended up okay everything ended up fine but that was my harder class during senior year. Like basically that's the one that stands out to me. That's pretty good. One class out of the entire year stood out to me as being extremely difficult. So I feel like that's all I have to say about junior year and senior year. I hope that this video helped you guys out just getting an idea about what to expect. Calmed your nerves a little bit. I know how it feels to just be really unsure about how hard it is if you're ready for it if you're watching these videos I can guarantee you're already better off than most people going into a chem major so keep doing research on it if you want do things over the summer just to like refresh your brain on algebra just general chemistry type things just to keep your brain fresh and feel less nervous about it I feel like sometimes that's a little bit over the top in a way but for me I would rather feel less anxious about something and do a little bit more work during the summer just reviewing concepts and math and everything like that so that I feel better about it than worry and stress and then be super nervous the first week of school so overall my biggest thing to say is just try to manage your time really well keep working hard and just make sure that you make friends and make uh, study groups and just get together and work together to accomplish your goal of just four years of chemistry and getting through it and getting your degree. <laughs> I hope these videos helped you guys out. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And also comment down below if you have any other videos that you would like me to do. I really like doing these chemistry videos. I feel like it's a little bit nerdy of me, but hey, if I help like two people out there, it's worth it. <laughs> so thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!